What would you like? A juicy steak cooked to perfection with garlic, rosemary, and pepper? Or perhaps the most tender piece of salmon in a sauce made of cream, fragrant mushrooms, and a fantastic white wine? Or how about lightly grilled tomatoes with baked zucchini with a touch of caramelization? Food is passion. Food is love. Food is life for everyone in this world. I'm a chef, so I know what I'm talking about. Although that's not me. This is me. But it's okay. In a couple of years, I'll be a celebrity chef too. That's my dream because celebrities get the prettiest girls. And until I'm famous, I'm using this trick of mine. It might be a bit painful, but it works every time. Hey, you jerk. That's no way to treat a lady. Does it hurt? It's all right. But I've got a job interview tomorrow, and I think my nose might be broken. That's my work tool, you know? And what job are you going for? Well, a restaurant chef. A chef? <laughs> I happen to work at a restaurant. No way. Yeah. You and I have a lot in common. You're just a boy. Don't understand. You don't understand. Oh. oh, it feels to love a girl someday. You wish you were a better man. You don't listen to her. You don't care how it hurts. Until You're just a boy going well I'm um, I've got to go now hold on are you running away running away no I'm just going that's all just like that that's it what was that between you and me thanks a lot it was super fun super fun what do you mean <laughs> Come on. No, I don't have any money. And besides, we never agreed on anything. I always knew I'd be a chef. Not a policeman, fireman, or astronaut. Not even a president, but a chef. How are your pancakes, huh? Delicious? Claude Monet is undoubtedly the coolest restaurant in the city. And I bet its head chef is the best in the entire country. Chef. Chef. Chef! Uh, we're crying. The boss is calling for you. The boss? Uh, are we still living in a world where slavery exists? <laughs> Doesn't he have a proper name, huh? You peasant. Here we go again. Uh-huh. Lost in the soccer game. How much? 2,000. Unbelievable. Why do those pigs always lose before my shift? Good, Good morning, morning to you, chef. chef. Cook this steak medium rare. Yes, chef. Never use this disgusting cognac ever again, you hear me? Ready now. Dice it finer. Tenderize this meat. Some rosemary. Hey, hey, hey! You should salt it in seven minutes to make the meat more tender. Idiot. Move it. 
Just three minutes until it's ready. Watch it closely. Yes, Chef. Aydura. Sarkan Shabaldu. Onye kijarim, Chef. Oy, ba. Ema gitaz kiyim kerek. Jaray, Chef. That's shit. That's shit. Wow, that's shit. Yeah, that's shit. Did you get hammered? Does it really show? There you are, Bon Appetit. Uh, Would you like anything, Chef? Just water. Still or sparkling? Run later! Right, I'll get it. No, I can't forget tomorrow When I think of all my sorrow When I had you there But then I let you go And now it's only fair That I should let you know What you should know Would you like me new? What's that? I said, would you like a menu? Ah, no, no, but thank you, miss. I came here to see Mr. Mitchell. He invited me to work here over a year ago, and... Just keep me posted. Ah, oh, there he is. Sorry, Mr. Mitchell is busy at the moment. You're welcome to wait for him here. Imagine, they missed a the goal at the 91st minute. Like the pigs they Hey, are. listen. It's none of my business, but you should quit drinking. Mitchell. This place is full, guests are happy, and competitors are livid. If it turns the other way around, fire me. I'm inviting our competitors to come here tonight. So if you screw it up, I'm gonna fire you. Which competitors are those? The ones from the restaurant which is about to open, on the other side of our wall. Shall I poison them? Hey, don't poison anyone. The one who's opening it is our friend. He's also going to bring his new head chef with him. He says he brought this person from India, that he's amazing and he's gonna kill it. Well, I doubt people are into curry. Good luck with that Indian chef. I wouldn't curry to worry about those guys. Hey, don't you go anywhere. Yes. All right, I'm coming. When I get back here, we're gonna have a detailed discussion about what you're gonna cook to surprise our esteemed guests tonight. No surprises. I've had enough of them from you. Uh, sir, good to see you again. Well, you and I met about a year ago. Do you remember? What you and I have met before? I certainly don't remember. In any case, thank you very much for finding the time to come visit our humble restaurant. I hope that you enjoy the food. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, sir. Attention. The train to the middle of nowhere is leaving soon from Platform 3. What happened? Well, everything's super. He just hired me and sent me to the kitchen. That's fine, Max. Well, then, right over there. The restaurant owner isn't the most important right. person in the kitchen. The main thing is for the head chef to like me. Excuse me, are you the head chef? I'm not. Why are you asking? I'm here for a job interview. He's the head chef. Excuse me, chef. He's here to see you for a job interview. Oh, well, all right then. Let's go have a chat. Tell me about yourself, son. Uh, so here's my resume. <laughs> a truly professional chef needs no resume. One look in his eyes is enough. Or at his hardworking hands. I saw your potential straight away. Mm-hmm. So let me welcome you to our team. Drink and smoke. Chef, sorry to interrupt, but Victor's coming this way. Oh, not that half-wit again. Okay, I'll be right back. Keep drinking and smoking. Thanks a lot. We ask all business class passengers to go to the VIP lounge. 
What is this freaking nonsense? Who the bloody hell are you? Get up right now. Hey, man, you gotta calm down. What are you doing here? I'm here for my interview. Well, what freaking interview are you talking about? For the job? The head chef just hired me, by the way. The head chef? Sadie, did you tell the chef I asked for a new menu? Uh, yeah, I already told him. I see. But... That's it? What the heck are you doing here? Um, I had a little chat with the head chef. He gave me a job. I'm not sure if I should take it. Your kitchen sure is basic. Listen. There's no way he's going to work here. Who won't? This idiot! <laughs> right. Wait a moment. I don't get it. Since when have you begun giving orders? Just step aside, will you? Arthur! Chef? Who's the boss in this side? What? You're the boss. Interesting. I'm the boss in this part of the kitchen. Well, what about that part, and you know? Yes? Tell me who your boss is. That's easy. You are, Chef. Well, I'm the boss there, too, so I'm the only one who gets to decide. Who's gonna be working in my kitchen and who's not? Rookie, you're hired. You'll work two days and get two days off. Meanwhile, a certain someone can go back to the restaurant floor to boss her waiters around. Ah, oh, pardon me. As well as to maintain the unique atmosphere of our restaurant, which they are personally responsible for. <laughs> now enough with this rejoicing. Get back to work, you idle bunch. Hey, Leo. I've got a special task for you regarding dinner. Have you been to India? Why are you still here? Go get change already. Uh... Hey, congrats. What? Chef, I'm ready. What do I do? Why not put up a circus? I'm sorry? Why not build a circus, a factory, a taxi depot, or a crematorium? What on earth brings you to the kitchen? Just answer me, Max. Well, that's because I'm a chef. And I'm a true professional. Say that again? What are you? You're a professional? Come over here. See that man? That's Arthur. He might be an nincompoop, but he can shave your legs with a knife so fast you won't even notice it. Look there. You see? That's Inira. She's been working with us for three years without a work permit. And that's Louie. Every day our restaurant earns a hundred grand from his desserts alone. Can you do that, Mr. Professional? And over there is Victoria. Throughout her time here, she hasn't slept with a single person. Even though many have tried. Now that is what I call professionalism. Tell me what you can do, Mr. Professional. I certainly know how to cook. Really now? Attention everyone! Attention! Silence! Finally, some good news! After a very, very long time, our kitchen has been graced with the presence of someone who knows how to cook. We have waited five years for him. And hallelujah, here he is now. That's him, our savior, the chosen one. I've got an important job that only you are capable of. What is this dish? It's beef and mint marinade garnished with artichokes, chef. Are you serious? Leo, our dinner guests are from India. Well, I know. Do you really want to serve beef to an Indian? Why not, chef? What would you say if someone served you a masterfully cooked Archangel Gabriel? Garnished with some artichokes. How about that, huh? But, chef, um, that's blasphemy. Exactly, isn't it? Leo. I told you we've got Indians coming tonight, and yet here you are planning to feed them a holy cow. Do you understand what that will look like to them? What is wrong with you people? Do I have to do every single thing myself? Go on, hurry up and bring some mutton or pork over here. Chef, here's an idea. I'll make my signature dish. Sauteed chicken breasts and cream sauce with spinach and pine nuts. When I worked at a restaurant in my hometown, everyone absolutely loved it. What a super idea. 
Actually, I think I'll accept your offer. Totally random dude who got into my kitchen only today by pretty much pure luck. Since you're saying this dish of yours was such a huge hit in your hometown. Theodore! Chef? Get me another five crates of bananas. Can't you see he's got nothing to do? He's too idle. Yes, Chef. Chef, this is nonsense. What's the point in taking off the stickers from the bananas? For balance in the universe. Because somewhere far away in Africa, a rookie who is just like you spends his days putting these stickers on. By the way, this rookie is exceptionally good at cooking. All right, then. I will give you a chance. See, we've got this regular guest here. You think you can make a dessert for them? Arthur! I'm here. Where's Madame Eleonora? Is she here? Yes, Chef. I just saw her. If you manage to please Madame Eleonora with your cooking, then I will finally believe that you can cook. <laughs> okay. Hold on to your socks, Madame Eleonora. This is the best dessert that women get all crazy about. Chef. Yeah, what do you need? The dessert for Madame Eleonora is ready. Attention, please. Right now, Madame Eleonora is going to try this dessert prepared by our rookie. Let's all go. Hey, Madame Eleonora. Madame Eleonora, please come. Madame Eleonora. Come here. Enjoy. Look at that. She won't eat it. Nope, she'd rather have some meat. <laughs> well, that's not fair because that's a dog. Yeah, and she's a real bitch, Max. The world is far from perfect. <laughs> now stop gloating, everyone. Get back to work. If you want to prove something to him, make a bet. What's that? Make a bet with a chef. Chef, why don't we make a bet? What did you say? If we don't g give my food to a dog, but to a regular person, I'm sure they're going to like the dish. Sure, let's make a bet. You'll cook a dish especially for me. If I like it, you win. You can stay and keep working here. But if I win, then you'll have to leave this place naked. <laughs> you got a deal. Move it, ladies! We gotta hustle! Let's annihilate our competitors! Anira, stew pan. Here, chef. Louis, butter, 200 grams. We, oui, chef. Merci, monsieur. Hey, Leo, rabbits and truffles, please. And Theodore, slice this thing. Arthur, you should Julian that. Oh, as usual. Step away from me, you rookie. Daddy's going to cook now. We're here to have dinner with Mitchell. Good evening. Welcome to Claude Monet. Please follow me. Mmm. Hi, please sit. Mitchell. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's mine. I'm very happy that you're here. I welcome you both. This is the best restaurant in the city. Well, <laughs> it's the best for now. Right. We're opening our restaurant in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I'd like to introduce to you my head chef, Helena. Hmm, <laughs> really? <laughs> I thought you told me that. Your head chef was from India. Did you not have enough money to get the expensive one? Well, I was referring to her. She worked at the best restaurant in all of Delhi. Well, maybe not in all of Delhi. She's just being modest. Before that, in New York. Mm. And in Venice, right? Yes, 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 right. And what about your head chef, the drunkard? Tell me, does he still have his liver? <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm sure his liver will outlive your restaurant. Well, good for him then. Victoria! Yes, how may I help you? Bring us the main course, Victoria. Our guests are real hungry. They can't wait to taste normal food at last. <laughs> yes, but could you please make sure that my food doesn't have any pepper in it? Of course, sir. I'll warn the head chef right away. Victoria just told me that we can already bring out the main course for our guests. Take these away. Hey, Leo. I'll be in my office, thinking up a brand new menu. I 
I think that you're really good. It's a pity that he's not going to appreciate it. Well, we'll see about that. He won't even try your dish. And even if he does, he won't enjoy it. I know what he's like. Wait a minute. We're gonna need an impartial assessment. If anyone asks, you saw nothing at all. Nancy, what's taking so long? Do I have to do everything in here? I'll bring this out. Just get back to work. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Oh no, what's this, head chef Victor? What on earth have you done with this dish? Well, I have no idea. I didn't know that our guest hated the taste of white pepper. Well, you really should have known that. After all, you're the head chef. Chef, chef, come quickly. What on earth happened? Have you finally learned how to cook beef properly? No, chef. Your dish poisoned our guest. Mr. Mitchell left with him. Hey, what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. What did you cook for them? The ambulance doctors told us he's allergic to pepper. This is serious. He could die. He's allergic? But this isn't my dish. What is this? Nancy! <sighs> Nancy! Answer me! That's my dish, chef. This is all my fault. Because I replaced your dish with my own. To prove myself to you. What is going on here? Is this a street food stall? Who on earth are you? Well, I'm the head chef at a restaurant where customers don't get poisoned. Pepper. Chef, I never added pepper to this. Chef, I had no idea how this dish could possibly... Well, I, don't really I didn't care know, care Chef. Whether wait, you're wait, thinking or not. No. How dare you send your dish to me, sir? Uh, Remember, uh, this is my kitchen. Uh, mine. Uh, you had no right to do what you did. None at all. And you put evil health and life in danger just to show off. I have to fire you for this catastrophe you caused. But firing you for this isn't nearly enough. You should be arrested and jailed. Get lost. Hello? Yes, Mitchell. Hey, Mr. Mustache. It's not often you get good news, right? They ran a few medical tests on my friend and found an aortic aneurysm. So if it weren't for him having an allergic reaction to your dish... He'd be seeing his dead grandma tomorrow. Well, it appears that you just saved his... his life, my dear mustached friend. By the way... Don't clear the table. He's gonna finish his meal. And you too. <laughs> See you. Oh, Rookie, you're still here. Chef, I got it. No need to keep humiliating me. You've been bothering me the entire day, so I'll humiliate you for a few more months. So you're keeping me on? But why? If I start thinking about why I'm doing it, then I'm definitely going to fire you. Chef, are you really keeping him? I made a bet with Ainira that he's gonna run away in only a week. By the way, Rookie, you lost our bet. Oh. I had nine lives, but I lost all of them, and I've been searching... In life, everyone deserves a second chance. Some people are able to earn it through a lot of hard work. Other people are granted one by life itself. And some want to have a second chance, but are too afraid to admit it to themselves. So, to sum it all up... Life is full of surprises. They say there are two sides to every coin, and I completely agree. On one hand, you're now working in the coolest and the best restaurant in town. But on the other hand, it has had absolutely no effect on the quality of your diet. On one hand, you are respectable guests of a high-end restaurant. But on the other hand, you'll never know what the people in here are really thinking about you. On one hand, you think that you are in the most beautiful and peaceful place on Earth. But on the other hand... Home 
team feel with caper? Your chef. Land with Terrigan to portions. Your chef. Arthur, where's my bechamel? Coming, chef. 20 seconds. Why are you standing there? And finally, you were two hours late and expect to be severely punished for your misconduct. But on the other hand... Oh, rookie. I love you so much. You see, he came to work late. That means I won the bet. Give me my money! Hurry up, betters! <laughs> and since you managed to successfully put me in a better mood on this horrible day, I'm gonna reward you with a very important and socially beneficial task. You're going to unload the grocery truck. But, Chef, I thought oh, I... Oh, no, there's no need to thank me. It's my pleasure. But wait, Chef, I thought I'd be cooking today. Oh, you're giving yourself credit for two abilities you don't have. Thinking and cooking. Now get lost. Nancy, one of these days you'll give me a heart attack. Chef, what's the right title for a head chef as a woman? Is it chefess? It should be freak of nature. Oh, well, we've got a freak of nature sitting right outside. The one from the restaurant next door? Hey! What is she spying in here for? I can go and ask her. Don't do that. Uh-huh. What did she order? Just coffee. That's it? Is this a coffee house? <gasps> Chef, are you afraid of her? Of course not. Why would I be afraid? My shoelaces just came undone, that's all. They didn't fire you yesterday? First of all, good morning. And second, smoking is bad for your health. And third, no one fires a professional. <laughs> oh, I see. You just got upset that I might leave. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? Here you go, a souvenir of our night together. Hi, Nira. Listen to me. If anyone here finds out what happened between us that night, I am gonna- Victoria, got a minute? Yes, Corey. Sorry, Victoria, but you see the sea keeper at the bar broke again. Didn't I tell you to call a professional to fix it? Now you'll have to deal with it yourself. So your sea keeper's broken? Yes. Do you know how to fix one? It's a piece of cake. Actually, at my last job, my sea keeper broke constantly. I have no idea who fixes it now. Hey, listen, could you fix mine, please? Uh, I could finish unloading everything here in exchange. Deal? All right, then. Right, I escaped the unloading duties. Now I just need to find out what a sea keeper is. Good morning. Well, hello there. What brings you here today? Uh, it's my job. Some gorgeous tableware is being brought into our restaurant, and while they unload it, I decided I should kill time here. Yes, good tableware often saves the day. Why aren't you ordering any food? Like I told you, I wanted to kill time, not myself. Is it too soon for that joke? Don't worry too much. It's common knowledge women are unable to do two things at once, like joke and cook. <laughs> I believe that little cup of disgusting coffee won't keep you in here for too long. Goodbye, then. Actually, I'd like to order some food. Oh! You've got quail fricassee here. It's the chef's special. How intriguing. Sadie, take the damsel's order. What a bird brain. She's a head chef? Yeah, right. Look at her. She worked in India. Add some curry to any food and it will be edible. That's the trick. Where's my knife? Hey, what are you doing here? Didn't Chef tell you to unload groceries? It's all good. I need to go to the bar. Who the heck took my knife? I repeat. Who took my precious knife? I saw that. Arthur. Yes? Come over here. Arthur, my dear boy, did you take my knife? No. Then who did?
Listen closely, all of you. Until you find my special knife, not one of you invalids will be allowed to go home. Is that clear? Chef, I put in the quail fricassee order. And I will not be cooking anything, not a single dish, until you find my special knife! Everyone look for the knife. Come on! Wait, what's the big problem? Let's just go out and buy him a knife like that one. Oh, really? Do you know what kind of knife that is? So do you get it now? It's not just any kitchen knife that you can easily replace. Don't just stand there. Just start looking for it. Uh-huh. What does this sea keeper thing even look like? Wow, I'll be damned. So it's like a monitor. I thought it was a cash register. Corey, two espressos, please. Juggiers, what are you doing here? I'm the new barkeep. Corey got sacked for being clueless. Oh, cut the crap. I saw you in the kitchen. You're a cook. I'm a man of many talents, but a barkeep at heart. <laughs> Hard to balance because it was half full. So, coffee? Yes, two cups of espresso, please. Some barkeep you are. Come on, move it. I'll do it myself. Would you like a cup of tea? You already asked me that ten minutes ago. Well, you could have changed your mind. Could you please find out how the preparation of my order is going? Certainly. Well, are you going to? Uh, you mean like right away? Will do. Oh great, don't cook then. Mitchell will be pleased when I tell him his favorite chef refuses to cook. <sighs> Cheer up, guys. You're about to get a new chef. If the current one doesn't stop making his freaking fricassee. Let's go ahead and make it ourselves. If... We dare to cook his special dish. He's gonna eat us. Uh, uh, you mean alive? Uh, alive. You're right. We better not risk it. But if we don't make it, he's sure to be fired. Uh, that's true. You're right. We should cook it. Or you're right. I'm so confused now. Listen, that's uh, a very bad idea. That's bad. Well, as our captain used to say, it's better to shit your pants during the storm than during the weather forecast. So is that good or bad? She's eating it. Of course. What other choice does she have? Excuse me. Would you come here, please? I'll be back. Yes? Please call your head chef. I'd like to speak with him. Oh my goodness, she said something to Sadie. Maybe she liked it, so she asked for seconds? Mm-hmm. Here she is. Our guest wants to speak with the chef. I, I did warn you, didn't I? You jinxed it. Go to the chef. Go why should I go? go? I was against the whole thing from the start. It was Theodore's idea. Hey, why go. should I? No way. You go, Leon. He's right-hand man. I bet he won't do anything to you. Not me. I can't talk to him. Stop. Then let Louis go. 
He's got nothing to lose, and besides, he's French. Look, why don't we just send him a, a text message? Yes, why don't we just all text, text him, him a resignation letter while we're at it? Hey, How don't jinx that? us! Oh, no. This was all your fault! <laughs> Chef? Chef? Yeah, what Well, now? that woman, the pretty one from the restaurant next door, she wants to see you. You know, the one you fancy. Hey, Nero, will you stop talking nonsense? I don't fancy anyone. So she hasn't left yet? How can I help you, ma'am? I've just tried your fricasse. Mm. And how did you find it? Well, can I be honest with you? The truth is, I really liked it. Yes, it's a great recipe. There was no recipe. We had a spare quail, and I hate waste. Ah, I see. Well, anyway, it's a great pleasure to leave your place in perfect health. Ah, you're leaving already. Yes, it's such a shame, but you see, I've completely run out of time. Your chef special took an incredibly long time to make. Mm. See you later. Not only did you steal my beloved kitchen knife, but you also destroyed my chef special. Come out, all of you! Chef, uh, well, uh, we, um, we, uh... We all tried our best, Chef. Well, I don't give a damn what you tried to do. Do you know what she told me after tasting your fricassee? She said it's utterly disgusting! Chef, I tried to talk them out of doing it! That woman told me the chef special is utterly disgusting! Shame on you, you invalids. He's insane. Corey, is the register fixed? No, but I'm working on it. What are you doing here? Fixing that thing. You are? That's it, get out of there. I said get out. Hey, Tim, get Corey right now. Why are you here? Leave the bar. Get out! Okay, okay, calm down. <sighs> yes, Victoria. Corey. Is this normal for you? Your bar's a mess, and you allowed Max in there. Well, he was just... He was fixing the register. Mm, really? Ah, then why don't I see the cognac? I don't know. Well, who does? Corey? You trying to get fired? It was right here, I saw it. Oh, that bastard. Sorry, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey you, where's the cognac? Huh? What cognac? That's $500. 500? I'll be damned. You really are in trouble, man. It's you who's in trouble. Hey, Meathead, you're asking for it. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I'll beat the crap out of you. Do you know how long I've been boxing? Oh my god, I'm so fed up with all of this. Why does everything always have to get screwed up? Can't things go right for one day? Is that too much to ask? Please, God, just for one day! Hey! Harry's at the rival's box. The rival team are defending. Harry has the ball. He kicks it. It's a goal! Yes! He'll have the goalie no chance! <laughs> This is going to be really awkward. 
Are you deaf? I haven't seen your cognac. It was right here. The bottle was in that spot. Are you surprised? If I saw your sucker punch coming, I would have surely kicked your ass. I don't understand. Hey, Corey. My fixed your register, as promised. Huh? Hey, man. I'm sorry, okay? Apology not accepted. You're at fault, man. Got it? Because you screwed up. Stop staring. Make me some juice. My head is spinning. <laughs> Well, Archibald, what should I do now? I mean, I can't just step out there like nothing has happened. Or can I? I think I should hide it somewhere. Don't just stand there, slackers. Have you found the knife? No. Leo, come to my office. Uh, yes, sir. What? Uh, are you mad? Why on earth did you take it? It's going to slit open your throat. I didn't. It was inside the fish. Listen, I think it's best to hide it somewhere while the chef isn't looking. Why did you leave this dirty box here? Take it out, right now! Unbelievable! Leo, did you find the knife? No, not yet, Chef. Did you look everywhere? Y yes, we did. You have to keep looking. Maybe somebody was cutting something and then accidentally left it inside. It could be inside a fish. Inside a fish? Or a huge piece of meat. How should I know? You must look everywhere! Yes, Chef. Oh, goodness gracious! Hide the knife now! If the chef sees it, he'll use it to circumcise you! Let him find it himself! Go on, hide it! One, two... Well, did you find the knife? Chef, we, we searched everywhere. It's not here. There was a fish right here. Where is it? Mm, it's being served to the guests. Chef, they want you. They've... they've found a knife in the fish. Hey! Well, these things happen. In fact, once we found a monkey inside a shark, it was alive. Uh, I have to do something. Two screw-ups in two days? They'll definitely fire me. Good evening. Hello. I'm the restaurant's head chef. I was told that you wanted to see me. That's right, we did. Would you mind explaining this? Uh, please uh, allow me, chef. What's that? I'd like to tell our guests the unique story that you once told me. Good evening. Good evening. This fish was cooked through a unique recipe that's over a thousand years old. And so, let's take a journey back to the era of the Crusades. There's war and hunger. The year is 1107. Godfrey of Bouillon crosses the Bosphorus. At the same time, he invents a clever way of cooking fish by putting a spear right through it before baking it. This way, the blade heats evenly and gives the fish a sophisticated taste and aroma. Go on, try it. Yes, you're right. That's what I'm talking about. This is a true culinary masterpiece. Chef, did I leave anything out? Oh, no. You got it right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. I'd like to order the same dish. Certainly, madam. Max, let's go. Please enjoy your meal. Thank you. Chef, 
you called me by my actual name. Ah, yes, I'm sorry. Now listen to me, rookie. If you ever come out here again without my permission, I will fire you. Got it. Watch him and make sure he doesn't nick my knife. <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I can't talk right now. All right, bye. Uh, Mitchell, what is it? Victoria, are you quitting? Hey, Victoria, what's the problem? Mitchell, the problem is this restaurant is an absolute mess. Mm -hmm. I am a woman, uh -huh. so I can't fight our head chef, Victor, while he keeps allowing yes. these disruptions. You again. I told you I'm busy. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, I really need to run, so speed it up, Victoria. All right, I will. Yesterday, a uh -huh. new chef joined us, Max Lavrov. Uh -huh. I really think he should be fired. You do? What is that? He a total fool? Yes, he made a mess in the bar today. Uh -huh. He broke a liquor bottle, some glasses, and the coffee machine. Hey, Corey. Is that true? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my fault. You see, I asked Max to fix the register. By the way, he did fix it. The, the coffee machine works just fine, and the bottle was <clears throat> almost empty. Well, guys, thank God that the register is working again. I just love it when everything ends well, which means all is good and I can leave. No, not all is good. He also approached a customer's table. That's because I, I asked him to. We were presenting a new dish. He is, in fact, a great lad. Yes. And he's smart. He seems like a normal lad. And when he's not smiling, he doesn't look silly. Well, anything else? Yes. He also started a fight today. Oh, really? I don't like that sort of aggression here. That's not good. Is that true? We were just fooling around. Fooling around. Fooling around. One second. I filmed what happened. Here you go. We should thank Victoria for filming every single detail of her life. Max, are you filming this? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's not... Hey, hey, hey. We're not done watching it yet. We're interested this to see this. I wonder what'll happen. <laughs> Films like this are my favorite. <laughs> Then things get steamy. <laughs> this doesn't look like a fight. This wasn't a fight. You didn't try to resist him. So far, there's no reason to fire him. Thank you very much. I sincerely hope you won't bother me again with petty things like these. Yes, I have to go now. No, not you, idiot. Come on, stop complaining, will you? Yes. I'm listening, go on. Listen to me, you morons. No one else can know about this, you got it? Victoria may be quite mean, but she's a good artistic director. I want her here for much longer, understood? So, there you have it. There are two sides to every coin, and one day it can flip just like that. Someone who like you, just starts hating you. Someone whom you punched in the face becomes a friend of yours. And someone who seemed like a mean tyrant suddenly becomes a bit less so. I've been working at Claude Monet for the past week now. It's the best restaurant in the city, and I know everyone here. This is our sous chef, Leo, a perfectionist. This is Corey. He's our barkeep and my new friend. Groceries received. I'm just wondering, with looks such as his, why he still has no luck with the ladies. Fantastic choice. A bottle of lovely champagne for you lovely ladies. My friend and I are going back to my place. Would you like to join us, perhaps? This is Arthur, and he's a real pro when it comes to vegetables. And that's Theodore. Being pranked by him can be a pain, but without him, the kitchen wouldn't be as fun. And this is our waitress, Nancy. She's vegetarian. Sometimes things can be tough for her. Your order, a tender rack of six-month-old lamb, who was probably suckling his mother's milk when he was slaughtered, quite viciously, and then roasted. I hope you enjoy your meal. And this beautiful woman right here is Vicky. Sorry, I mean Victoria. She's a restaurant's artistic director. Yeah, I must admit there's some tension in our relationship. And this man is our head chef. At first glance, he seems like a man who hates everything and everyone around him. 
Which one of you stupid chefs decided that Julian Peppers were a ratatouille? Which, in fact, is completely accurate. I think I'm going to fit in fine with this team. Good afternoon, staff. This is Victor, remember? It's about my license. How could they decide to revoke it if I never went to court in the first place? That's impossible! Wait, who? Did you say Basil? Hang on, he told me to call you. Uh-huh. Chef, here. What is that? A goose. Really? I thought it was a cam. Well, we got a banquet today. So what, is he invited? Where in the world would I need a live goose in the kitchen? But, but the supplier said you wanted the meat to be as fresh as possible. Basil, hello there. It's Victor. I'm calling about my driver's license. So I need to talk to Stan? Well, he's standing right here. Yes. He's saying you're going to help me. All right, I'll be waiting. Good morning, Chef. What are we doing today? Go and load the groceries. Chef, I'm not a helper. I'm a cook. I've been unloading and cleaning things for a week, and that's not why I came here. I want to cook. Besides, I've unloaded everything. All right, then. You can kill the goose. Seriously? Whack this goose so that we can serve him at today's banquet. You want me to kill it? Why, do you plan to carve him while he's still alive? Or do you think that meat grows in pieces on meat trees? Every chef must be prepared to kill. Kill the goose, Max. Kill it! 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 Huh, kill the goose. That's easy to say, but I've never killed anything. And this one looks like my uncle. I've already explained this to you. I can't let her leave right now. We have to wait for the right moment. Vincent, I've heard that for two years. It's over. I told you that a week ago. Are you seeing someone new? Maybe I am. Does he work here? <laughs> Why do you care? You've got your wife and your children. I'll find out and chop his head off. <laughs> Victoria, I trust you. Make sure the banquet is up to stand. Yes. I'll go and check everything right now. Damn it. I cook foie gras every single day, and yet I have to eat pasta with meatballs. As my one-legged captain used to tell me, just be happy that you're eating and not being eaten. Just the pasta for me. Why don't you eat meat, sweetheart? Because I'm vegetarian. Are you serious? A vegetarian? I always thought that you were Hungarian. Vegetarians are people who don't eat meat. Mm. That means back in the 90s I was a vegetarian too. I had no money so I only ate potatoes. I don't eat any meat at all. Um, I think it's unacceptable to kill animals so people can eat them. I bet you that was a lovely cow which had a little calf, whom she loved very much. They grazed in a meadow in love and harmony, and then people came. And then they slit her throat, and used her body to make those succulent meatballs. Then they took her poor calf away from her, and roasted it over a bonfire. Oh my, your story made my mouth water. Is there no other way? What if I just pay them? Uh-huh. What? How much? Buying a new license would be cheaper. Well, no means no. Thank you for your help anyway. Yes? Chef, you're needed in, in the dining area. Over there is our dance floor if you need one. And the bar is over there. Oh, here's our head chef, Victor. This is Elvira, our special guest. She's the hostess of tonight's banquet. Ah, oh, happy birthday. Thank you. How can I be of service? Chef, I would like you to serve some traditional Tatar chak chak for dessert at the party tonight. Ah, uh, in that case, shall we also replace French baguettes with Tatar rochpoch mak and uh, serve chorba as the main course? I'm afraid not everyone will like that. Mm. I just want the chak chak.
Just do it. I can't do it. Wanna try? No way. I can't do it either. This is insane. It's not. I saw it in a movie. Come on, drop it. Damn it. We blew a fuse. Do you think that we finished him off? It says here that they've got a very weak cardiovascular system. So we should scare him. That'll probably do the job. On the count of three, we'll turn around and shout at him. Yeah. One, one, two, two, three. Yeah! Moron! Don't you have jobs to do? Get back to work for Corey, I got it. I need a killer. A professional who won't hesitate. Come with me. All right, stay here for now. Ainira, help me kill the goose. Twenty dollars, and you won't see it, not never. Do you mean forever? Ah, yes. Forever. Hey, kiddo. Let's have a chat. Yeah? You work with Victoria, right? Victoria Goncharo. I need to know the name of the chap she's been dating. Well, are you mute? But why on earth would I give you that info? <clears throat> what? If you don't answer me now, you'll answer my questions at the prosecutor's office. You got it? Okay, okay. Well, as far as I know, Victoria's not dating anyone from here. That better be true. I wonder who's gonna get killed first? Me or the goose? Stick that chuck chuck into you know where. This is a French restaurant. Don't you understand what kind of people are coming? Since she's a judge, I doubt that she'll have plumbers as guests. It's not wise to argue with her. Which court does she work at? I don't remember. I think the district court. Louis, you're making chuck chuck for tonight's banquet. Did you just say chuck pack? Louis, listen to me. There will be no further discussion. If I want Chuck Chuck, you'll make Chuck Chuck. Don't try to argue with me. Is that understood? Imbecile. He's nuts. Only Chef Victor and Corey know that I slept with Victoria. I should tell Corey to keep his mouth shut and pretend he doesn't know anything. He was the most talented rookie I've ever known my entire life. Sleep in peace. For sleeping with another man's girlfriend. <laughs> what did you have to tell him? Now I'm dead meat. Tell who? The dude who left. What did he ask? Relax. He asked where the toilet was. Here you go, madam. Chuck Chuck from our pastry chef. Try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, chef. And I really appreciate that you altered your menu for me. Don't mention it. It is my sworn duty to satisfy my client's culinary whimsies. <laughs> uh oh, by the way, what do you do? Well, my job is not as interesting as yours. I'm a judge. Is that so? Mm -hmm. No way. <gasps> I'm surprised that you and I didn't meet yesterday. Why? What do you mean? Well, my license got revoked. I don't think we would have met anyway. You can't be from the district court. It'll be a coincidence if you are. <laughs> Actually, Chef, I am. I work at the district court, if you can imagine that. No, you're kidding me, right? No, I'm not kidding. Please tell me your surname. Baranov. Victor Baranov. Well, I was the one who passed a verdict on your case. And you didn't even bother to come to court, did you? Well, I was busy preparing your banquet. Maybe there's still a way to fix things I'd appreciate it. Hmm, sorry. You drove into the opposite lane and knocked down a traffic light. I have an excuse. I was so drunk. 
Just be thankful that your license has been revoked only for a year. Well, of course. Thank you so much. You know, your chak chak is a bit unusual. I should order some from a tried and tested place. Ah, sure. <laughs> Hello? It's you again. Hey. That guy who you had an argument with. My personal life is none of your concern. Yeah, sure. That's what I was trying to tell you. Uh, the thing that, that happened between us, you know what I mean. I think that it's best if he doesn't know. Or he might get upset and blow things out of proportion. You get me, right? Are you afraid I might tell him? Afraid? <laughs> yeah, right. Tell him if you want, I don't care. And besides, what we did wasn't sex. Yeah? You think it wasn't? Hmm. Vincent. You asked me if I had someone else. Well, here he is. My dear Max. You think I can't see it? She just wants me to get angry, that's all. I mean no offense, dude. But I think that a dumbass like you is definitely not her time. I'm absolutely sure. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, but thanks. Well, suit yourself. Where is it? Where's your goose? One moment. Oh, damn it. He was right here. Oh, how stupid of you. Why did you leave it there? The garbage truck must have taken it. Don't panic, Max. At least now you don't have to kill a creature. All you need to do is find some goose meat. Nynira, where's the market? Just be thankful your license has been revoked only for a year. What a snake. I'll show you who you're messing with. Go on now. Theodore. Yes, Chef. Go to the pharmacy. I got you, Chef. One classic. Hey, rookie. Where's the goose? Uh, I just killed the shit out of him. Then why are you so clean? You didn't get a drop of blood on yourself. I didn't slit its throat. Instead, I strangled it. That's gruesome. All right then, Othello, bring your Desdemona to the sous chef. Leo, you need to start preparing the goose. It's almost time. Got it, chef. Meanwhile, I'll take care of the chef's complimentary dish. Vicky, we need to talk. I just told you everything. Don't be like that. You know how I feel about you. Honey. Vincent? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was discussing the banquet with Victoria. Mm. This is my wife, Elvira. Darling, I'd like you to meet Victoria. You know, actually, we've already met. Victoria has been helping me out. I can't thank her enough. I'm so glad you suggested this place for my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> you really are the best, honey. <sighs> Why is the goose so small? Uh, it just looked big because of the feathers. I was surprised when I was plucking it. Here, chef. It's something new. Just one pill, and the client won't get further than three meters from the toilet. 
It's time to wish the celebrant a happy birthday. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Uh, could you come with me for a second? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Look! Wow! Look, it's a goose! Well, that's why I called you here. Thank you very much. Why don't you go back? If I see anything interesting, I'll make sure to call you too. Mm-hmm. Mm It's all right, just keep going. Damn it, I knew someone would find you here. Come, I'll hide you somewhere else. There. Don't worry, as soon as my shift's over, I'll set you free. Just stay there, and be quiet. I'd like to make a toast to the woman I love, my beloved wife. My darling, I wish you good health, because everything else will come as thank you gifts from others. <laughs> yes, darling, I'd like you to keep in mind that no matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Uh, here's to the best woman in the world, to the woman I love. Cheers! 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 <laughs> oh, hello there. Good evening. Uh, even though you and I failed to reach an understanding earlier today, I still wanted to prepare a surprise. Here's a complimentary dish. Consider it a birthday present from me. Thank you so much. The food is so delicious. You know, I can see that you're a quite responsible and decent person. I think that I might actually be able to help you. Give me a call tomorrow. Hmm, uh, it's delicious. <laughs> Whoa, wait, let me taste it. Just a quick quality check. Mmm, mmm, there's too much pepper. Right. Sadie, uh, take this back to the kitchen. All right, I'll make new ones and bring them here. I think they're tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, waiter. May I have more water? I'll be right back. It's like I'm in a soap opera. He loves you, but he loves his wife more. <laughs> You are such a jerk. <laughs> Listen, Vicky. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. That wasn't my intention. Get your hands off me. Why am I always attracted to assholes? I just broke up with one jerk, and immediately I met another one on the same night. Look, everyone makes mistakes. I really shouldn't have tried to sneak out that morning. I was... No, that was all my fault. I shouldn't have slept with you. Hey! Oh, you f Vincent! <laughs> so what you said was true, huh? You got involved with that schmuck? <laughs> you are such a scat. Hey, watch what you're saying. That's no way to talk to a lady. Take it back. What did you say? <laughs> you better leave her alone. Vincent. What did you say? <laughs> Insane? Have you completely lost your minds, <laughs> Chef? Ma'am, shall I serve the goose now? <laughs> Vincent, put the gun away! Wait, your trousers! Put them on! Your trousers! He's gone insane! Somebody please stop him! <laughs> Is this my goose? Uh-huh. You murderer! Ain't got no plans. Ain't got no friends. Ain't got no schooling. Poor goose. Damn, what a banquet this is turning out to be. I miss the action. Let me go! I'm so sorry. My Vincent can't hold his liquor at all. But don't you worry, that wasn't a real gun. It was only a rubber bullet one, yeah. I remember he fired it at my last birthday party, too. Ah, here, take this, Chef. Compensation for your staff for the trouble we've caused. And don't forget to call me tomorrow.
Got it, I will. <laughs> All right, let's look back on your first week here, shall we? On your first day, you almost poisoned a guest. On the second day, you fought with our barkeep and trashed the bar. And then I found out you played hide the sausage with Victoria. But, but... And then today, you almost got yourself shot. It looks like you... are a good fit for our team. Let's go. All right, rookie. We now officially welcome you to our kitchen. On your knees. And so from now until eternity, like the others, you are part of our sacred kitchen. In the name of the oven, the pots and the pans. In the name of the baking tray and the frying pan. And in the name of the holy ladle. Amulet. Life is a collection of gains and losses. Some people are mourning their losses. while others are celebrating their games. <laughs> and then there are those who gain from their losses. I lost, but I lost all of them. And I've been searching in the night, and I've been searching in the rain. I tried to find them, but they disappeared. They walked away, they dressed in black. They so, Chef, you're not even gonna punish me? Was this not enough for you? You're the first person to ever undergo this ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> It was a fun thing to do, wasn't it? <laughs> you should all be initiated the same way. Come, Arthur, you're no. next. No. Hey, guys, Leo. No matter what happens, always keep in mind that this is just the beginning. I've read your resume. I really believe that I could use such a promising worker in my kitchen. Honestly, I don't understand why they don't appreciate, uh, professionals in Claude Monet. So, here's my contact information, just in case. I'll call you in a couple of days and we'll discuss the terms of employment. Good morning, Victor. How are you? Good morning. This note tells me you've decided to hire staff. It'll be better to put a note by the underground. I believe more professional chefs pass there. Actually, there's no need for that. I've interviewed several highly professional chefs. And you know what? Some of them work in very prominent restaurants. Fast food joints are considered prominent restaurants now? Well, if you consider your restaurant to be a fast food joint, then... <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'll eat my hat if I find out any of my people came to you. Uh-huh. In that case, bon appetit. And one more thing. If you find yourself needing a job, here are my contact details. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I'll make sure to take you up on your generous offer. Wonderful. What's this? I told you to cook the steak medium rare, you idiot. Start over. Hurry up, ladies. You gotta move it. So is the fricassee ready? Uh, ten more minutes, chef. Too long. Make it three minutes. Why are you milling around? Don't you have work to do? No, I... Uh... Hey! Excuse me, head chef. I've already taken the stickers off the bananas. So what should I do next? What should you do next? Get on your knees. <laughs> Good job, Victor. My precious little Victor, my rookie. Hey, rookie! What do you think you're doing? How dare you sleep here? Chef, I, uh, I just needed a five-minute nap, that's all. I couldn't sleep last night. Must be jet lag. Max! I'm leaving now. Are you coming? It's fine. You can go. No problem. I'll stay a bit longer. You can go. Hey, thank you. What jet lag are you talking about, Max? This isn't a hostel, it's a workplace! But Chef, you... you still won't let me cook anything. I've taken off a month's worth of those stupid banana stickers. All right. 
Kid, if you really want to cook, then I'm gonna let you cook. Attention, please. Today, the meal for the staff will be prepared by our rookie here. This is a very big responsibility. If they don't enjoy your cooking and remain hungry, I'll give them permission to feast on you. You got it? I think Max is a little tough, but he's still edible. <laughs> I've dreamt of the day when I'd finally get to cook here. But damn, of all days, why today? Well, are you happy? I'm very happy, Chef. I just need to get some coffee first. No time. Put on your uniform. Get back to work. I'll eat my hat if I find out any of my people came to you. In that case, bon appetit. Ah, uh, ungrateful backstabbing bastards. Who says this? Answer me, you ingrates. I'll destroy you. You traitors! How dare you! Tell me who did this! What a bunch of ungrateful bastards! Confess now, you useless pests! I hate you! Check that out. She's got a nest on her head. Mm-hmm. He's so beautiful. Wait, do you like her? Huh? What? I don't. Oh my gosh. Corey's got a crush. Nancy. I'm coming. Just a second. Are you crazy? Stop it, Max. You see, Corey wants to tell you something. <laughs> Why are you here? Don't you have work? Get out of here. Nancy, we just wanted to tell you, your hair's beautiful today. <laughs> You're an idiot. You really are an idiot. If you like her, be bold about it. All right. I'll start cooking now. It's for you, by the way. Which one of you ingrates could have done such a thing to me? Maybe... Invalid! I specifically told you not to defrost this frame! Well, I doubt it. Or maybe it's... Leo, you know when you'll become head chef. The minute quail stop flying and start swimming, because the one you cook smells like fish! The dish you made is completely inedible! No way. Well, who could I have rubbed the wrong way? You idiots! You're good for nothing! Such amateurs! You are all useless! You're bloody useless! How am I supposed to know? It's okay. I'm gonna make them a soup so delicious that it will blow their socks off. Hey, bird brain, are you grating your fingers? Your yeah, I have a feeling your soup will be one big mess. Come with me. Here's a big stove waiting. Just for you, stop stalling. I guess it's time to make your soup. Here's some tasty mushrooms and the Cream and carrots and the leeks. Now cook. Got it? That's how you do it. Yeah. Well, get to it. Hello? 
Hello. I just wanted to thank you for yesterday. Oh, no problem. <clears throat> Are they making you cook the staff meal? That's right. Congratulations. Doctor, look at this. This came out of my ass today. Oh, don't worry. I'll test it right away. Mmm, so tasty. Congratulations, Max. <laughs> oh, You've got very really? fertile soil. Great for growing carrots. Is that so, Doctor? Yes, That's good to know. it's really good. One of a kind. <laughs> I'm so glad Stop to Stop acting that. like idiots. Theodore. Chef's office. Step right in. Hello, sir. Lift your hands. Chef. What is this thing? That thing is a lie detector, Theodore. Because I don't have any other way to catch that pesky rat. Ah. Now listen carefully. I'll start with simple questions. You should answer with yes or no. Is that clear? Okay, got it. I said yes or no. Yes. Tell me. Is today Wednesday? Yes. Uh-huh. Right. Are you a chef? <laughs> well, what else do you think I am? A doctor? Answer with a yes or no. Well, well, yes. All right. Your first name's Theodore? Yes. Now tell me, Theodore, have you ever broken the law? What? what? In what way? Well, for example, have you ever, say, murdered a person? Like killed someone? Uh, no. Doesn't matter. Did you apply at the restaurant next door? Tell me, did you? Uh, no. You're dismissed. But... You can go. And call Arthur. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. He's not Theodore. And he might have killed someone. Oh, never mind that. What matters is that he didn't go to that job interview. Who's next? <clears throat> well, do it. Take the initiative. Chicks like guys with guts. You don't have to do this. I'll tell you everything you want to know. The fish that was left after the banquet, well, I took it. And that venison, which was going bad already, well, I took that too. Half a kilo of caviar? No, not that. Yes, I'm really sorry, chef. Did you go to the restaurant next door for a job interview? No. Ain't got no shoes. No. Ain't got no money. <laughs> no one didn't. Yes? Well, so, spit it out. Yes or no? Yes? What? Yeah. Say it. Yes or no? Yes? Your sensor fell off. Damn it. Well, it should be ready. Are you sure it's ready? Max, you better not be lying. Answer me. Hey, Max. Hey, Max. Max, why are you lying here? What is this? What on earth is going on here? <laughs> Go on, clean yourself up. Chef wants to see you. Corey, I need one bottle of cognac and two double whiskeys and three teapots of Roy Boss. Coming up. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Just go for it. I'm starting to get cold, Corey. Nancy. What is it? Uh, the whiskey. 
How much do you need? Two double shots, Corey. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Nancy. What now? You know, your hairdo today looks really cool. It's so lovely and it has all these cute, Thanks fluffy little curls. <laughs> it m makes you look like sheep. You look like sheep. At this point, you're the only one that we haven't tested. Did you go to the restaurant next door for a job interview? Yes or no? No. I don't get it. So that's it? I've wasted my time on this stupid contraption and it's all for nothing! Well, pff. I could have gotten more information myself using a table knife! You know what? What? I think you should just... Just spit it out! This is an important device! Really? Important? Chef, man, please go now. Yeah, get the hell out. By the way, have you made dinner? Yeah. I mean, I'm almost done. Are you lying to me right now? Oh, Chef, come on. You know that I'd never lie to you. There! Take a look. Chef... To me, you're like, like a father. I'm sorry. Hey, Jug Ears, are we going to wait all day? Um, five minutes. Mm-hmm. You've said that 15 times already. Well, bon appetit. Thank you. Hey, Corey. How are you? Not good. I'm falling asleep. Corey, please punch me. W what? Go on, do it. I'm not gonna punch you. It's fine. I need to wake up. <laughs> Are you crazy? Why'd you hit that hard? Well, you asked for it, didn't you? Whoa. Ooh, I guess that woke me up. <sighs> oh, no, it didn't. So I guess you won't be dating anytime soon? Mm. I blurted out some shit again. I can't talk smooth like you do, Max. <laughs> well, bro, that takes years to master. Listen, Max, maybe you can help me. Talk to her. Put in a good word for me. All right. I've got about seven minutes. Wait. You want a punch to wake you up? No, no, I'm okay, Corey. I'm fine. No, no, I'm good. Nancy, I need to talk to you. Well, the thing is, I've got a friend. A friend who really likes you. And what? About your friend who really likes me. Right, my friend. He's so into you. <clears throat> so he really wants to get to know you. And he would like to take you out on a date sometime. And then marry you. <laughs> and then have children. And cats. And dogs. I understand. That's what guys always do when they're a bit shy. They pretend they're asking for a friend. Hey, Max? Huh? Right. I knew that there was a deep connection between the two of us. I'm so happy that you told me. Uh -huh. Nancy, the main course! Oh, the main course is ready. I have to go. We'll talk about it later, okay? Right. <laughs> He looks as mad as a sandfish in hate. Tell me about it. He interrogated me, using some sort of device. Who or what in the world does he want? I got so scared, I couldn't understand it. He was trying to find out who, who went for a job interview next door. You're kidding me. Are you serious? 
No way! Are they really looking for people? I would have gone too. I bet everyone here would love to go. Yeah, for sure. I've got people lining up, all from your restaurant. So, did you bring your resume as well? I've got a simple question for you. From one head chef to another. I'm listening. Which one of my people came to see you? Excuse me, Helena, but we really need you. It's urgent. Could you please come now? Yes, of course. I'll be right there. Uh, I'd love to answer your question, but sorry, I can't. I don't rat out my people. Your people? But that person's mine! Mine! From the handle of his knife to the very top of his hat! I'd love to stay here and chat, but I don't have the time. Sorry, I need to go to work. You do know the way out? Of course. That's wonderful. going to eat at all? Yeah, of course you will. It's ready now. You're gonna love it, I promise. Oh. It's a cream soup you've never tasted before. Not the usual slop you stuff your faces with. What the hell is this? No thanks, I'm on a diet. Wait a minute, it's really good. My thing. <laughs> what a pretty cream soup. Mm. It's yummy. Pardon. I think that would be my food coloring. I thought that I'd lost it, I couldn't find it. Wait, where are you going? Come on, it's good. It really is. And it's so cool, like you're eating the soup. <laughs> Our captain's tongue was the same color when he resurfaced. Can I have seconds, please? Oh, there you are, you bastard. Our rookie has outdone himself again. Oh, has he now? So that's how you thank me after all the kindness I've shown you? I gave you a chance to become somebody in this world, you ingrate! Come on, chef. My cream soup isn't that bad. You've got two minutes! Two minutes to pack your things and get the hell out of my restaurant! What's going on here? Oh, don't ask. But, Chef, I didn't... You heard what I just said! Get out! I don't want to hear another word from you! I'll make him pay for this. No restaurant will ever hire that scumbag. Not a cafe, not even a school cafeteria. I need to talk to you. Archibald, could you tell her to get lost? No, I'll do it myself then. Max didn't go to that interview. No? No. I was the one who did. Here's my contact information, just in case. I'll call you in a couple of days and we'll discuss the terms of employment. I'm confident that you're going to like him. He's a very promising young man. Is that something you always do? Help your exes find jobs? No, just the good ones. Victor, you're not giving him room to grow here. How many talented chefs have fled this kitchen? 10, maybe 20? Victor, you're unbearable. You don't have any people left. All you've got are useless kitchen rookies, morons, and idiots. Wake up, you don't give a damn about anyone. The only thing that you care about is feeding your own ego. I just pity the guy. You'll ruin him and you won't even Enough let him- Enough with the lecture, please. You're no better. Well, I'm not perfect either. But at least I'm not testing my people on a lie detector. Can I go and tell Max that he's not fired? Go ahead. You're the only one who understands me. Where are you going? I don't know. I just got fired, Nancy. Yeah, that's right. Maybe he was just kidding. He always kids around. 
Yeah, that's hilarious. Have you seen Max? Why don't you just stay here? I'll hide you somewhere. Like the goose in the bar? Please, Max, I don't want you to leave. Me neither. There's no need to worry. You've got me now. Max? There are days when nothing goes right. <laughs> Literally nothing. Hey there, Corey. Just go to hell. On days like that, don't give up. Corey, what's wrong? Go to hell, or I'll break your nose. But why? Is the fact that you kissed my girlfriend not reason enough? There's no need to worry. You've got me now. Max? Corey, come on, it was a misunderstanding. I was so out of it yesterday, I was tired. And by the way, she's not technically your girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, it's total nonsense. In fact, there's nothing between the two of us. So is it serious between you two? Yeah. And we even kissed yesterday. It was just so romantic. There's no need to worry. You've got me now. I'll kiss you. Show me, tiger. Oh, Can you imagine how beautiful our children are going to be? <laughs> Corey, I swear, nothing happened between us. Mm hmm. Tell me what happened. There's no need to worry. You've got me now. Oops. I'm sorry. It's all right. Well... Well? What? Corey, look. Hi, Nancy. If you don't believe me, just ask her. Hello there, darling. Nancy, hang on. I'm busy right now, but let's talk later, okay? Hugs and kisses. This is just mental. What's happening? Corey. Corey, Hugs wait, I'll kisses. prove it to you. Please stop. Okay, freaks, let's start our meeting. Yesterday, the leader of the invalids was right here in front of me defrosted five kilos of cod. Which means we have to try and sell all of that today. So is that clear? Hey, Sadie! Come over here! Yes, Chef. Tell your team that today we'll be selling cod, and that every cod dish will have a 20% discount. Got it. Go on. Let's continue our meeting. Get in here. My gosh, Max. This is so romantic. It's like a garden with all these greens. Listen, Nancy. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? It's a date, right? No, Nancy, it's not a date. You got it all wrong yesterday. We're not dating, I'm not your boyfriend, and you're not my girlfriend. What? Are you dumping me? No, I'm not dumping you. No. Then why would you joke like that, it's you silly? It's not a joke, Nancy. I'm not dumping you because we were never a couple. And there's nothing between us. What do you mean, nothing? But we kissed. What about our kids? Wait, what kids? They'll be so cute. If it's easier for you to understand, then yes, I am dumping you. <laughs> Happy? Am I off the hook now? Okay. I'll go back to work. Hey! That's it. This meeting is over. Back to work. Go. Move it. Good morning, Chef. Oh, I must say, if there's one thing you're good at, it's being consistent. You are really consistently annoying. Why on earth are you so late again? That's because... 
Nynera hid my uniform. What? No, not you. Uh, I meant another Nynera. I'm starting to understand Kyrgyz. She saw him chatting with Cory in the storage room. Louis, welcome him to your team. <laughs> <laughs> your jokes are as bad as your cooking. What was that? I see you're confused again, as usual. Hey, Arthur, huh? you think it's just me? Or did he actually say that I'm bad at cooking? Oh, it's just you. So are you telling me that you're a better chef? No worse than you. Mm -hmm. Want a bet? Let's do it. All right, put your names down and then place your bets. Right now, we will have both Theodore and Appendix prepare one special dish. Then Chef Victor will taste their dishes, then determine the winner. Now let's see what the main ingredient's gonna be. <laughs> You're done for. I've cooked every type of fish that swims in the vast ocean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Could I borrow ten dollars? Oh. I'll place a bet. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I gave it some thought. And now I want to join in. Let someone from the dining area judge. Chef, I... Uh, I will not let you down, and I will really do my best. I mean, I mean, we will win this bet. Mm -hmm. Chef, you're not going to help him, right? As if I've got nothing to do. And a small croissant, please. Mm-hmm. Veal, please. Cooked with white mushrooms and some thyme. Um, and for the drinks, a Bordeaux. Mm. And would you like anything for dessert? Maybe tiramisu? No, a piece of clafouti. <laughs> Nancy, what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, tell me what happened. <laughs> Max just dumped me. He's such a jerk. He used me and then dumped me. Do you know what that feels like? I can only imagine. <laughs> Go take a break. Calm down and wash your face. Mm -hmm. After that, get back to work. Mm -hmm. I don't need mm -hmm. drama in here. Now go. Yes. Hey, you. <laughs> Yes? Sure, one second. Max, it's for you. It's your mom. Oh, my mom. How did you get this number? Hello, mom, is that you? Yes, that's right, I'm your mother. You'll be cooking trout, stuffed with julian vegetables. To begin, you will need to gut the fish, remove its backbone, and then put the filet inside the fridge. And then- Got it, mommy. What's that? You know what, let me call you back later. I'm busy. Love you, mom, bye. Was it your mom who called? That's right. I'd smoke fish, button mushrooms, and cheese to the sauce. When did you last have your kidneys checked? Come on now. You only kissed once, so it's nothing serious. Don't be so upset. Think of all the guys who will dump you. Are you gonna cry over each of them? Will I be dumped again?
Listen, rookie. Go to the bar and get me a bottle of cognac. I wrote the name down because you're an idiot. Stuff the fish with a julienne and lemon and then put it in the oven for 15 minutes. Go to the bar to avoid suspicion. What you need is to get revenge so you'll feel better. You're right. I'll kill myself. And I'll blame him for it in my suicide note. Then I'll watch him suffer. You won't do that. Huh? That punishment would be too light for him. You should sleep with his friend. I should sleep... with Cory? Yes, with Cory. That way he'll suffer more. Do you mean I should sleep with him? Or... sleep with him? What I mean is, you should sleep with him. Trust me, it's the best way. Now get to it! To you too. All right. Listen, because I'll only say this once. If you dare touch any of my waitresses again, this eggplant right here will be shoved into your you know where. What's the matter with you? I'm perfectly fine. But Nancy's been crying all day. Nothing happened between the two of us. What an idiot. You didn't salt it. First, I saw everything. And second, I don't care what you did or with whom. Consider yourself warned. Arthur, got better things to do? Uh-uh. That's great. What a fuss Nancy's created. Right. I need to salt this. I also need to add some cream. Busy? No, yes, no, I'm not. Well then, let's do it. Me, tiger. I'll kiss you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Show me tiger. Hang on. I'll kiss you. So what you want is for us to whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, don't you want that? Yes, of course not. Uh well I mean I do. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to decide the winner. Well, just in case. Come, Victoria, we now have <laughs> two dishes. Please try them both and let us know which of the chefs did a better job. Winner, the dish that I liked is this one. And as for this one, I frankly wouldn't recommend eating it. Yes! Congratulations. You won, rookie. Arthur, bring me my money. What? But I thought it was... Thank you for your help, Victoria. I appreciate it. Now you can crawl back to your terrarium. All right, let's see. 
Oh my, it's so delicious, such flavor. Mm. Chef, I'm gonna try it. I want to know what's ingenious about it. Hey, don't touch it. I haven't had my fill yet. And I absolutely think that our winner must also try this masterpiece. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes? Right? So tasty. Tasty, huh? Go ahead. Come on. You know what? I think you should finish this all on your own since you're mm -hmm. the winner. Go on, go on. In goes the fish. It's tasty, right? Have some stuffing. Eat it all up. Enjoy your meal, my sweet little one. <clears throat> so, I guess the one will bother us while we're in here. You're right. <laughs> Cory. Cory. Cory, wait a minute. I can't do it. Cory. I'm sorry, but I only wanted to use you to get back at Max. Well, he deserves it, you know. And uh, I don't really mind teaching him a lesson. Stop! Cory, no! I can't ask you to make this sacrifice. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and tell everyone that we've done it. But we won't actually do it? No. <laughs> well, all right then. Cory, you're so great. <laughs> oh, right. I bet my order's ready. Bye now. Sadie, we did it. It's done. I mean, my revenge. Here in the restaurant? Yeah, I thought, why wait? Really? So how did Cory do? Well, he's good. He's good? Mm-hmm. Hey, is that it? He's not that good, then. Well, what do you mean he's not? Hey, you want to know how good he is? I'd say that he's really super and... All right, tell me. Where'd you do it? <sighs> Where? Everywhere. Well, first in the bathroom, and then the, the broom closet, the broom then closet? the vegetable storage room. Uh, and we wanted the locker room, but it was crowded. <sighs> I really had no idea that he's a sexy beast. Mm hmm. Theodore, why are you so glum? Not right, because I beat you. But don't quit on us, Theodore. There will always be a job in the kitchen. You can peel the potatoes. Attention, please. Today, Rookie has gained my professional respect. He's not a basic rookie, but a proper rook. And with that said, he'll be preparing all the fish orders himself. Back to work. Yes, Chef! But why, Chef? Leo, tell the waiters they'll receive 10% of the tips today from every cod dish order. Let our newbie work hard. Oh, what should I do? I never thought I'd say this, but nothing at all. Just sit and wait. For today, everyone's loving the cod amandine. I highly recommend the cod a la florentine. I suggest you try the cod filet with bouillabaisse sauce. Two cods a la florentine, please, for the Adams family at table four. Max, make two cods a la florentine. Yes, chef. Cod amandine in a cod bourgeois. All right, Max, cods amandine in a bourgeois. I'm already making two orders. I don't know, but Theodore always managed. Two cod bouillabaisse. Max, bouillabaisse, two orders. Oh, wow.
Max? Max, we really need to talk. I want you to know that I've already moved on from you. By the way, I've just hooked up with Corey. You hooked up with Corey? I understand that you're hurt. But to be honest, so was I when you dumped me. Well, I'm really sorry. And farewell. Very well played, Corey. Now, where is my cod dish? Almost done, rookie. <sighs> Chef, I can't handle this. I need help. You need help? We'll just go and ask for it then. Corey? Mm. Two glasses of Chablis. Uh huh. Well, then, did you tell Max? Yes, I did. So, how was it? He shed a tear. I felt sorry for him. Are you two gonna be okay? Uh, you don't have to worry, Nancy. It's fine, I'm gonna deal with it. I think he'll understand. Corey, don't tell anyone we made the whole thing up, all right? Of course, I won't tell. Listen, uh, <clears throat> why don't you and I start dating? You know, to keep up appearances. How about a movie or something? Yeah, let's do it. So no one would figure things out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen. Theodore, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Can you please help me? What? I said I'm sorry, please help me. Everyone, could you try to keep the noise down for a minute? I'm being told something important and you're making it very hard to hear. Sorry, Theodore. You're a really great cook and I'm not. Could you please help me out with the orders? Well, I hear you. Sounds phony though. It just lacks sincerity. Say that one more time. Just go to hell. All right, rookie. Move over then. You need to calm yourself. Inhale. Exhale. You know the real mess? Isn't really inside the kitchen. It's all inside your head. to rush it. Yeah, for sure there will be days when nothing goes right. But the good news is that those days always come to an end. For some, this day has brought something new. For others, everything has stayed the same. Hello? Five? Uh... Seven. I'd like to bet 700, yeah. And some Come have on, enjoyed this day. As for me, I'm just glad it's over. 